During the late Triassic, dinosaurs were not yet the dominant large animals. Instead, many of their roles were filled by a variety of animals. Among these were the herbivorous Revueltosaurus. A member of the Pseudosuchian branch of Archosaurs, it was more closely related to modern crocodiles than to dinosaurs. Revueltosaurus is divided into three species. The first to be named, Revueltosaurus calendarii, was named in 1989. Its name means Revolutionary Lizard. This name was chosen both in reference to the location of the first fossils were found in, Revuelto Creek, and in reference to the importance of Triassic fauna and the evolution of modern species. The fossils it was named for more only teeth, leading to it initially being misclassified as an Ornithischian dinosaur. Two other species of Revueltosaurus, Revueltosaurus hunti and Revueltosaurus olsoni, have also been found, also based on little more than teeth. It was not until 2004 that bones of Revueltosaurus calendarii that could be tied to the teeth were found. Many of these have come from the Revueltosaurus cori, a bone bed which almost exclusively contains Revueltosaurus calendarii fossils, some of which are nearly complete. While skeletons of the other two species have yet to be found, the skeletons of Revueltosaurus calendarii quickly made it apparent that Revueltosaurus was a Pseudosuchian instead of an Ornithischian dinosaur. Overall, Revueltosaurus calendarii was a decently sized herbivore by the standards of its time, with the largest specimens being recorded at 3 meters long. With the exception of the head, Revoltosaurus' skeleton was rather typical of Triassic Pseudosuchians. A quadruped, Revoltosaurus' legs were held in a more erect stance than in modern crocodilians. Notably, Revoltosaurus had two rows of large osteoderms that ran along the middle of its back. While osteoderms were common in Pseudosuchia, those of Revoltosaurus most closely resembled those of the armored Adosaurs. Indeed, their osteoderms are so similar that Revoltosaurus osteoderms were once mistaken for those of juvenile Adosaurs. Unsurprisingly, Aesaurs are thought to be the closest relatives of Revueltosaurus, with Revueltosaurus representing a transitional stage of the more basal Pseudosuchians to the more divergent Aesaurs. However, the osteoderms of Revueltosaurus covered much less of its body, and it lacked the spikes seen in some species of Aesaur. Revueltosaurus may have compensated for this with its larger skull, which could have offered a more powerful bite. Its skull differed in several respects from those of other Pseudosuchians, even the Abrian Aesaurs. Its most notable difference is how the length of its skull was shorter than most other species, whose skulls were generally fairly elongated. These differences were likely due to Revueltosaurus evolving a herbivorous diet, in contrast to the carnivorous diets of most other Triassic Pseudosuchians. However, as its skull and teeth also differ from that of the closely related Aedosaurs, despite most Aedosaurs also being herbivores, it is likely that Revueltosaurus and Aedosaurs ate different types of plants, reducing competition between them. Many skeletons of Revueltosaurus have been found in close association at the Revueltosaurus quarry, combined with how they were of various sizes, and the almost complete lack of other species at the site, this suggests that Revueltosaurus lived in groups for protection. Compared to the more widespread Aedosaurs, Revueltosaurus was much more restricted. Thus far, Revueltosaurus fossils have only been found in North America. Revueltosaurus calendarii and Revueltosaurus hunti are known from the southwestern United States, with Revoltosaurus calendarii from the Norian stage of the Triassic, while Revoltosaurus hunti is known from the Carnian, specifically the lower late Carnian. On the other hand, Revoltosaurus olsoni fossils are found in the mid Carnian stage of eastern North America. A reptile found in Pennsylvania called Galatonia gibbidens has also been proposed to instead be a species of Revoltosaurus, though whether it belongs to Revoltosaurus olsoni or is its own species has yet to be determined. After the extinction of Revueltosaurus, along with the Aedosaurs and Shuvosaurids, it would be some time until there were once again herbivorous Pseudosuchians. While some herbivorous crocodilomorphs are known to have later evolved during the Cretaceous, none are known to have reached the same size as Revueltosaurus. But while Revueltosaurus is extinct, its story is not yet over. A complete description of Revueltosaurus calendarii has yet to be published, while skeletons of the other two to three species of Revueltosaurus may yet be found. Hopefully, future finds and research will uncover more about this amazing reptile. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.